Hey, good evening. I'm Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com, and it's Thursday, September 4th. In this video, I want to look at J.C. Penney. Now, this is a stock um, that I've been bullish on um, for a while, and this is why I'll go just real briefly. Um, let's do this. Inverse head and shoulder, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, somewhere around there. Neckline, you connect this peak, which is in between, uh, which is in between this low and this one. Okay, right there. And then you look at this peak, and it's a little loosey goosey, uh, but this peak somewhere around here, which is in between the head here, here, and the right shoulder. So you connect this, and here's what you get. It's about five bucks between the low here of five and around ten or so. So you add that to the breakout, and my price target is about fifteen bucks or so. Okay, that's something that um, you probably know about because I've talked about it several times in, in Kramer's uh, pound in the table or time a, a time or two about that as well. But my point for mentioning this is this because um, we've got you know pretty nice trade going on. Um, option market mentor on this um, calls are up only 75%, which frankly I wish they were up more. Um, but the thing is, that was and is a multi month call. Stocks working its way higher, and that's great. But what I want to point out to you, if you're long, because a lot of members are, I want to point out to you that this is not going to go up like this every day. Um, it hit a, a high here, a new high, not a 52-week high, but a, we'll call it a pattern high. It hadn't been up this high since it was on its way down in a big hurry. Um, so it hit a new high here, okay, on 11 at 11.24. Um, that was the high. Today, um, stock eclipsed it a little bit, basically the same, 11.28 is the high. So this is resistance right now. Now, what you have to do is just understand that this is a little box here. Okay, don't be looking at this saying, oh, five or six days of consolidation. Now the stock's going to move higher from here. It may very well do that, but only if somebody's really in trouble here on their shorts and they're, and they're trying to push, uh, they, they got to get in. There's a little more bullish chatter on, chatter on JCPenney, but generally speaking, retail stocks were just up. It had a lot to do with Costco. Um, but look for this to kind of trickle sideways for a while. If it does go up, fine. That's why I'm already long, and that's why you are too. And if you're not, why not? Um, did you just come here? Did you just hear about this stock? Um, but this is really what you got to look for is the slope of the 50-day moving average. Okay, this can be trading sideways for a while. All the while, the 50-day moving average gets closer. The 20-day moving average gets closer. And it sure seems like every time the stock hits the 20 and the 50, for that matter, um, the next move is higher. So look for the potential for this stock to just trickle sideways for a while. I mean, it could go sideways for a couple weeks. You manage risk. You don't predict. And so I think the stock's going higher. It could break out tomorrow. Again, it'll only be if somebody's really behind the eight ball and they got to cover some stock or they got to buy a bunch. But, you know, stock at 30 million shares traded today, there's plenty of liquidity out here. So be patient with the stock, but also be bullish on it uh, because I think it's going to work. Um, ultimately, I do think that price target's going to be hit. Okay, members, um, over to the strategy session. I've got um, several actionable stocks for you tonight.